Hey, what is going on guys, this is Mixer here, and welcome back to another episode on the Amplified Survival Solo World, and in this episode, I have been an absolute retard, and I lost all my stuff. Um, as you can see, I've lost all my stuff, my arm, my tools, uh, we're getting lag here, well, yeah, I lost all my stuff, um, and obviously I do need to sort that out, and... Yeah, we still have our villager, but basically what happened was... I'm surprised this guy... He's fucking dead. He's, he's fucking dead. We worked so hard to kill him, to get him last episode, and he's fucking dead. Basically, what happened was... Is I went, I came onto the world, and I was about to record an episode, and I was like, oh, wait, I want to go get something to eat first. So, I kind of just left myself AFK, like, here. Just like this. Didn't pause. Might have maybe been in my inventory. I come back, and I'm fucking dead. All my stuff's on the floor. And I obviously haven't respawned, so I'm just like, shit. Okay, all the stuff's still there. So I press respawn, I run up here, and it's all gone. I didn't even check whether Jeffrey was here or not, but that was a waste of a name tag. So basically, this episode... I have to rebuild, get all my tools back, which is going to be annoying because we don't have much iron anymore, and uh, we're going to have to work on getting some iron, there's a bit there, yeah, we're going to have to work on getting some iron for definite because we need more armor, and we're going to have to get our tools back, and I just feel really shitty right now, like, why would they do this to us, man, why? Just why? Uh, well, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we didn't use too much iron up for that, but... Oh, no. Yeah, we didn't use too much iron up, but... Now we just have nothing. Wait, where the hell did I get XP from? What did I get? Oh, uh, I think I picked up the XP from Jeffrey. I don't know if I picked up my XP. Because I had 17 levels, so that's gone too. Um, but we need to... I left those sticks in there for a purpose. We need to get a pickaxe. Um... And we also need to get a shovel. We need more sticks. I'm kind of annoyed. I really am. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and get as much stuff on ready to go as possible. An axe. Uh, a sword. Right, there we go. Okay, we've got 38 diamonds left. That's really annoying that we lost all that stuff. Like... We lost so much. Oh, fuck. We lost nine diamond blocks. I had my diamond blocks. I mean, we lost all that and diamond gold blocks even. Lost nine gold blocks. Oh, well. It doesn't matter too much. Um, okay, well, we better start working on getting some XP going. And it was, I think it might have been this guy who fucking killed us. They said that I was slain by a zombie, but this guy was upstairs still. And I need to know where the hell they're spawning from. Because I thought that it was fine light in all, in all of here. Because that was 9999999. They could only spawn in under 7 light, I think. So, where is it under 7 in here? Maybe on the farm? There's zero light here? Wow. Oh no, they can't spawn on half slabs anywhere. Look, there's like nowhere in here that's under 7 light level, but they seem to keep spawning in here. So maybe it's under 10, I don't know. So maybe we have to put some more lights in, in there. I've never seen one spawn in here. I think the lighting's perfect in here. Yeah, we've got a, got a 10. We're going to need food, and we used all of our wheat last episode to trade with the villagers. So we're going to have to start planting it all. It takes like two Minecraft days to plant. We we're going to use that villager to help us make an automatic farm too. And, um, yeah, he had some pretty decent trades, too, like, 22 wheat just for fucking, just for one emerald, and I was making so much wheat, so. I'm kind of annoyed, but at the same time, it gives us a little challenge. I know, oh, fuck, we were building up to the end of Dragon Fight 2. I know it's, like, 15 episodes from now. We can definitely rebuild, but it's kind of annoying. It's just, you know, but we need, we need all this to start growing because we have no food, guys, at all. Um, there may be some food somewhere, but... I don't think we have any food, so. There might be some in the dump chest on here. 
Okay, we got some more iron and stuff in here. We have this pickaxe, which we could fix just to help us get... <sighs> Christ. Right, we got more seeds there. We can't plant them. Um, Gunpowder, okay. That's the only food that we have for the looks of it. And we have rotten flesh, which I guess we could kind of use. But we need to get XP somehow. And I'm thinking maybe I should do a time lapse of me like killing spiders or some shit. Because there's like no way that I'm going to get everything I need. But I'm just checking if there's anything in these just for extra XP, you know. But nope, which is annoying. But we basically lost all of our gold. Which is really frustrated, but, you know, life, okay, no, I do have some food. You know, life goes on and everything, but, just shit, like, because we need to, oh, right, we're going to have to get a lot of XP. A lot of XP. Uh, the first thing I'm obviously going to upgrade is my pickaxe. Enchant, sorry, I keep saying upgrade, but the first thing I'm going to enchant is my pickaxe. And then we're going to have to go from there. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to time lapse me doing some mining now. Um, or do a cut. I'm not sure. I'll probably just do a time lapse, but I'll see you guys in a bit. So right, unfortunately, uh, the time lapse stopped a little abruptly, and the reason that is is because I had to go out to the door. But uh, since then, I have got a bit more resources. All of the coal is gone. Uh, the reason I did that is because I filled up all of these, and after filling them all up fully, I have 22 left. Uh, I also used a bit in here, so this is what we have left. I didn't do the top, didn't do the top row, but that's fine. But now we have a lot of iron ore to smell. So. Let's go with 16 there, 16 there. 
14 there, 14 there, there, 14 there, 16, 16, 16. Oh, come on, I want to smelt something in every single one of these. Oh, it turns out you can turn stone bricks into cracked stone bricks by smelting them as well, which I didn't know. And also on the way up, I checked the slime ball uh, farm type thing uh, to see if we had any slime balls. And we did, we had 21, because we can kind of work around the area, kind of where the, the vicinity that we were in, you know. Uh, this pickaxe is almost dead, so we will make another one before enchanting, but unfortunately we're on level 30 yet. Um, but we'll try and get that as soon as possible, and... I don't know what the fastest way to do that is. We did have a zombie spawner, but I can't remember where, exactly where it was. I can hear a zombie right now talking about that. And um, one actually came in here a few seconds ago and, and tried to attack me. Oh, he's outside. Yeah. Fucking hell, I could hear him really. Oh, this is a different one. Why is, why is he burning? Is that a zombie I can hear? I don't want this one to blow up, I actually want to get a kill. There we go. I need the XP, you guys, I really do. I need to get that level 30 so we can get a level 30 pickaxe. And the thing is, that'll only take it down to level 27 when we do enchant it. So there is a possibility that we could easily get level 30. We, unfortunately, we have no wheat to breed these guys because I breed them otherwise. And Here is on me. Eh, well, it doesn't matter. Let's try and get a level 30, I guess, but might not happen this episode. But we've done quite a bit of rebuilding. They're underneath us. And they may be on the stairs down here. If not, they're in this room. No. Then where are they spawning? Yeah, I accidentally smelled some bricks and I, and I came up with some chiseled ones, so, or cracked ones even. That's pretty cool. I think you can make chiseled ones like this, right? No. I know there is a way to make chisels that don't break, so I'm not sure. Actually, no, no, you can't. So they're like here in the wall or something. Could be in the hole in the wall, but here. Wherever it is, and he's lighting up. Badly. Yep. It's because all the spawn areas around like the world lit up so they just spawn wherever they can because they're trying to hit, they're trying to fill up that mob the mob limit so they just spawn wherever they can and if they can spawn in here they will so it's lucky that we hear that and light it up go okay right so oh shit all this done already are you ready for this shit, guys? Oh shit, yeah, we're about to get a shit ton of XP from this. Okay, so that just got us up like a whole fucking level. This furnace is still going. Is there anything I need to smelt? I'm trying to smelt that, see what it does. Does it do anything? Uh, just smelt that, just for the sake of it being smelted. Um, so we have a lot of iron now, a lot of iron, which is great, got quite a few stacks of it, uh, we're going to need that for hoppers at some point, we've got a few more diamonds back to pay for some of our tools, because we used two, five, six, no, we used nine and we got six back, so basically we're going to use three for our pickaxe, but we're going to need another three in a bit anyway, we've got bones, which we actually need, and the reason I say that is so we can get some more wheat, because... We very much need wheat. Potato and carrots we need to start growing too, but we need more wheat, so I'm just going to use this. I got these from killing skeletons down in like, the mines and stuff. Um, let me take these out of my fucking offhand. <laughs> yeah, we need as much wheat as we can, as quickly as we can. And um, we need to do that so we can go feed. All of our cows and stuff. Just always growing it to, to get food for myself, but then I realise I can just 
you know, I have a few bits of beef and stuff and, you know, I can kind of live off that. But yeah, we need to try and get a farmer villager back in here again, uh, hopefully get a zombie spawns a villager, because the thing is I do have a zombie spawner, it's just forgot where it is and I don't know if it'll come back up when I reinstall the minimap more, I, I don't know. Hopefully it does, because uh, waypoints were quite useful. I can use, like, I can just do them again, but I'd have to find the zombie spawner again. Which I think I may have screenshot the coordinates for it. So I'll actually, I'll actually check that. Um, I'll quickly check that. Oh, I'm right in my Minecraft folder anyway. Screenshots. I feel like I screenshot it. No, I probably didn't because I was just like, oh yeah, I don't need to because... Oh, okay, right. Th this is going to seem like it's a really bad way to get there. But... 150 meters in that direction. I'm standing like here and it's down there somewhere. I know that's a really, really broad place, but it's over here somewhere. So let's try and just find a cave around here and hope to find it. And then we'll screenshot the coordinates properly because the only reason I didn't screenshot them was because we had the minimap mod. We do need a new pickaxe though, unfortunately. But this is almost dead. Uh, we got 88 left. But I don't want to make another one quite yet. I want to get all 30 first. Like, I could try and load the map back up in 1.8, but I don't think it would work. Um, which is kind of annoying. Even though I don't have any 1.9 items, it's just I'm dual wielding. I do hear a cave. Yeah, there's definitely a cave around here. So this could be pretty close, actually. Fuck, that nigga's in, like, full chain armor, dude. Fuck, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. That was so stupid. The skeletons and stuff are so overpowered now. Crazy. And just with the new combat system, I just forget about it and then I just get absolutely fucked. Why am I recharging health so fast? Okay, I'm on normal, that's weird. Oh, I hate that you can shoot. God, he had so much health. Chain boots. These chain boots are made for walking. I have one torch left. I need to light all this up because this is uh, near our slime farm actually. Oh shit, it's like literally. Shit, we missed like a whole big bit here. Oh my god, this spawns in here. It's probably where all the mobs will be spawning. Oh, okay, I know where this is now. I oh, shit, yeah, but that's not what we're looking for anyway. We're looking for a zombie spawner. I feel like it could be somewhere around here, actually. De yeah, for definite, it could be somewhere around here. But the thing is that the waypoint mod counts towards, like, how down into the ground it is, too. So I'm just like, it is the most accurate of things. Man, I'll try and find it off camera actually. I'll be right back and I'll just try and find it off camera because, you know, why not? Right guys, so after looking back in previous videos and seeing where it was, finally got here. Uh, pickaxe is almost dead now, but there's some iron and stuff around here that I want to pick up. But here's the spawner um, and hopefully we can try and get level 30 here. And if we see any villager zombies, we obviously won't kill them. Um, but yeah, level 30 would be great to get here. Um, and hopefully it shouldn't take us too long. So I'll actually stop recording for now and when I get level 30, I shall come back. So guys, after I got level 30, which I literally achieved a few minutes ago, I got out of the cave, finally. Uh, after a lot of hitting with my hand, I got out of the cave. And I came out up here somewhere, I can't remember, and I found 
a village, uh, a sand, uh, a sand biome village, which is great, because now we actually have some villagers to trade with. Uh, we're not even that far away from home, like we're we're maybe like 200 blocks away from home, um, and yeah, these villagers. I'll try and block them in their houses or something. It's a, it's a bit weird around here because, you know, we're in a sand amplified biome. It just it's really dodged. So we'll try and clear out some of the sand and stuff and just see a bit more of the buildings. But hopefully, and I say hopefully that hopefully this generated in 1.9 and maybe we can have some beetroot. I don't know if it did generate in 1.9. I think it generated maybe in 1.8 like a long time ago. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we've been near this area before, so that is kind of unfortunate for us, but... Where's the door to this place? There's a lot of bookshelves in there, but there's no door. See, look, we don't have a pickaxe, it completely broke. And um, we can't even get wood from here either, because... It's a sand village. So... Is that where the door's meant to be? Wait, there is a door on it. I th I swear I just checked that and there was no door. Oh, this is it. just painful. I think there may be a door here. Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white vans. I fucking hate that vine. Why am I saying that? Right, so he's a librarian. He takes paper. Who he has an infinity book. Doesn't that mean we can get mending from him? We could actually get a mending book from him. Oh. A cleric, gold for emeralds, rotten flesh. I can actually get some. I had a bit of rotten flesh from the zombie spawner, you know. Uh, Jesus, man, ten. Okay, we upgraded this guy's one emerald for three redstone, or one emerald. You know what? I'm actually gonna do it just because. We can get another. Another trade there. Ah, uh, okay. Right. So are these like the only two guys here? No, okay, there's quite a few. This is there. Hopefully this is be true. If this is be true, this would be crazy. No, it's carrots. Yeah, I don't think we actually need these to have no food. But um I don't think there's actually any be true in this. I think we might have generated it a long time ago and just never noticed it. Um because we've been pretty close to this area, it's actually quite close to spawn, so, you know, but it, it's better than nothing, we found a village um, with some villagers in, which is great, so we're going to try and keep them protected, we'll try and lock them into a house or something, because uh, if we, if a zombie comes and kills them, it'll just be annoying, because then we've lost all the villagers that are close to us, and these are pretty close to the house, so we can get these back and we'll look after these guys, but we need to get them inside a house. Um, this is a guy the butcher. Okay, that's cool. Cleric. And okay, our librarian is still in here. We're gonna block our librarian in. Just gonna screenshot those coordinates. And we're gonna Because as long as we have two we can start to breed them, I believe. There you go, so now we have one here too. And we have another one right there. Which we can block in. Damn. Just do that. Go and block this guy off as well. So there's two in there. Let's see if we can find any more any more uh villagers. I feel like there may be one in here that's too scared to come out. Nope. This village is extremely funky, man. I'm really looking for a farmer. That's the one that I want the most, but I believe if we breed them. Uh, there's a cleric here. I think that's a cleric, right? So the door's like somewhere by here. The door's somewhere by there. As long as I can get to the door right now, then I'm fine. I just want to check if this is a cleric or not. I believe they spawn in their corresponding buildings, so... Quickly check. Yeah, he's a cleric. Basically the same trees as the other one. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, dude. Let's eat some food. 
We really need. Right, we're just gonna have to eat potatoes. Half a thing, man. If we cook these, they're way better. Tons better food. We need a bow. Kill guys like this, because they do a crap ton. Skeletons do a crap ton of damage to me, which is. AIDS and a bit upsetting, but you know. Yeah, but at least we got the coordinates for this place down now. Even if we do die just around here, we can run back real quick. Uh, this episode's been like so weird. There's been a lot of cuts and there's been a time lapse. It's just been, it's just been all around very weird, and I'm I'm sorry for that. Just I want to do another time lapse because why not? And this is another. There's a farmer. He's a farmer. I think. I'm gonna take this because we actually need wheat. So why not take it? And I'm going to take all the potatoes and stuff because extra food. Throw away them, pick up these potatoes. Right. Let's go see if this guy is a farmer or not. Oh, fuck. Okay, we've got to save him. We've got to save him right now. I believe this guy's a farmer. If he is, dude, hit the fucking jackpot. One of these farmer claret bunch of fucking bastards. There should be a farmer here. Come on, man. Not even one farmer here. In this whole city. It's like a fucking. It's like a pharmacist, dude. Some sharpness shit going on on that sword. Oh, come on. It takes forever. Librarian. Claret. Fuck, did he run? Oh, okay, he's blocked in anyway. So these two guys are blocked in here. We need a crafting bench. Um, we can fly one real quick. Do we have sticks on us? No. So finding some wood would be great. Great, great. great help. Wait, do we just go in here? Is this one that we just went in? Yeah, go and just go in that one up there now. Near the well. Oh god, dude, there's still two buildings up there too. Okay. Right. So there could potentially be one farmer here then. I believe there's got to be. No, okay, we've already been in this one. Oh fuck. This guy's a fucking idiot. Did he die? Get inside. He's just like, hmm, no. I believe there's a crash in. Yeah, okay. Need that. Better than eating fucking raw potatoes. If this guy would just get in here, that'd be great. I think it's because it doesn't have. Doesn't have a wall on it, so I don't think he recognizes it as a house. There we go. Right. No, no, no. Let's plot this guy in. Uh, and let's go check those two houses up there. And I believe that is it. So if there's not a farmer in one of these, then that will be extremely upsetting. I haven't seen a blacksmith area. Nothing at all in this one. And this one doesn't even have a door on it. Okay, so we found a village with no farmer at all. Uh, I believe you can breed them, like I've said. So if you can, then I guess we could easily get a farmer, maybe. Like a farmer baby villager, and then wait for that to grow up and everything, but. No idea. Right, so we need to get back home. Uh, uh, uh. 
Right guys, so I don't know what happened to the end of this episode, but for some reason it seemed to have just cut out. I've only just realised it now after recording it and everything. But basically all I did was uh, it blew open the where the villagers were, I patched it back up, and then I basically just went back to the base, and then that was it. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!